Hi guys, it's Rob from Sonic State Amped here. Today we're taking a preview at the new Spark Mini Booster from TC Electronic. Now, these haven't been released yet, and unfortunately on the side of it, it says to get the manual, you go to tcelectronic.com forward slash manuals. Because they haven't released it yet, we can't look at the manual. Fortunately, it's really simple. It's one button and one dial. The loop is Fender Modern Player Tele, uh, Quantum Guitar Leads into the Spark, currently bypassing the booster into an Orange Rocker 30 on the clean channel with the volume at about 10 o'clock. And this is what it does. So it's just a clean boost of 20 dB. So there's 10 dB boost. So that's, that's bypassed. As you can see, it makes quite a big difference between that's only 10 and that's only halfway. We don't want to clip the mic, so we're not going to go any further. It's really useful. You can use it in a number of places on your board if you use a pedal board, or you can use it to do multiple things to your amp. You can either use it to boost the clean channel like I'm doing now. So if you want to come up for a solo, if, you, if this is your standard clean, so you're kind of going. And you want to come up. But it can be also used to drive another pedal or your amp. So, for example, if I use it to drive the amp, this is the amp we're on the crunch channel with a little bit of gain in it. And this is it with the spark. You can already hear the amp breaking up more because I'm pushing it harder with a boost pedal. If I use humbuckers, So again, there's a big difference, and that's a get. That's not even on. That's not even halfway yet. We can push it further. What it does really well is push drive pedals. So if you've got a drive pedal which doesn't have a massive amount of gain, so for example the AC booster, that's on the most amount of distortion that I can get or gain that I can get out of this pedal with my humbucker, which isn't bad. It's quite a nice crunchy. But with the spark, you can push it even further. So if you put it before a drive pedal, it'll boost the input to the pedal, therefore giving you more gain, more bite, more crunch. If you put it after the pedal, you get a boost in volume, which is also useful. So again, if you get your bass sound, and you want to come up out of the mix, you can use this. It'll annoy the sound guy if you get the levels wrong, but it'll sound louder, um, which is obviously always better if you're a guitarist. Louder, louder is always better. So at the moment, we've got it set up so that the spark is in front of or before the AC booster. What we're now going to do is put it on a board and run it after the AC booster. So I can show you what a volume increase does. So we've put the spark on my paddle board. I'm going in here, Korg, Korg pitch black tuner, sorry. Uh, coming out into the wah, crybaby standard, nothing special, into my AB custom foot switch thingy. Um, and it's going from the input here to the effects loop, which is 
AC Booster from Exotic Effects, really nice crunchy pedal. One Plus Sovereign, favorite all-time distortion pedal, it's just brilliant. Into the Worm from Electro Harmonics, which is an analog multi-effects um, wire phaser tremolo vibrato, really useful, also incredibly useful little switch, auto and manual. English Muffin from Electro Harmonics, set for a high pass filter, so at the moment it's just got bucket tons of high, no mid, no low, plenty of gain and a little bit of volume. We then go up into the Phase 90. I was using Electro Harmonic Small Stone, but the volume drop got too annoying, so I had to switch it out for one of these, which is really nice. Delay from Biang, this is pre Akai. You may recognize the pedal from a lot of reviews that Rich did. It is identical, only I paid 35 quid because I bought it five years ago. And then into the Spark, which is, as you can see, right at the very end. Now, this cable here runs back under here all the way along into From Effects, into my Lay B foot switch. It goes across two amp up this cable and out here into the orange. Okay, so now that the spark's at the end of the pedal chain and you know what's going on on the pedal board, I will use it as just a, a little volume boost just to bring myself up out of the mix. So if I create like a, I don't know, a crunchy, let's say like, so a little bit of delay. Unlike before, where we were getting an increase in drive, we're keeping the same level of distortion. It's just getting louder. And the same applies if I turn the drive off. You still get. So if I create a clean backing sound, just using, say, some delay and a little bit of tremolo, you can kind of get the idea of. can use it just to pick yourself up out of it. So then you can switch it back down to your quieter sound and go back to doing the rhythm part that you were playing earlier. It's really versatile, even though it's very simple. You can use it for kind of Okay, let's let's do Okay, this is a pre-release video, which means that we haven't actually seen this thing on the shelves yet. It hasn't been released. By the time you watch this, it will have done. Unfortunately, what that means is we have no idea on pricing or on manual. Okay, granted, it's only a dial and a button, but never mind. If they price these right, they'll sell like nothing else. They are so small, so convenient, and so useful that I can see everybody buying one. Provided they're inexpensive enough, I'm probably going to buy two. One for the beginning, and as I say, one for the end of my board. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you again soon.